Is your shack efficiently prepared for an emergency? How about your go box? Let's talk about it. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Ham Shack TV. I'm your host, Josh, AA4WX. Real quick, before we get started, check out today's sponsor down below in the description is uh, Spec 5. Spec 5 has absolutely great equipment for Meshtastic, and Meshtastic is an awesome off grid communications platform. I won't even get into the details, folks. It is just so cool. Go check out uh, Spec 5 at the link down in the description below. All right, so when disaster strikes, cell phone fails, power grids collapse, and internet lines go dark. But there's one skill that has consistently risen above the chaos, and that's ham radio. Welcome to Ham Radio's Secret Skills, Mastering Emergencies Fast. In emergencies, communication isn't just important, it's life-saving. Amateur radio operators, or hams, are often the first and sometimes the only line of communication when everything else fails. But what exactly makes ham radio uniquely effective? First, it's independence. Ham radio operators don't, uh, don't rely on external infrastructure. With just a simple antenna, battery, and portable transceiver, you're ready to send messages across town or across the world. Second, it's adaptability. Hams can switch frequencies, modes, and even bounce signals off of satellites to establish reliable communications, no matter how severe the disaster. <clears throat> Third, <coughs> excuse me. Third, is community. Amateur radio operators are trained, organized, and prepared. Groups like Ares and Skywarn coordinate with emergency services, providing critical information in real time during hurricanes, earthquakes, wildfires, floods and other severe weather scenarios. To effectively handle emergencies, your shack or go box needs to be fully equipped. Here is a detailed look at essential equipment and why you need each of them. First and foremost is a portable transceiver. Something as simple as this Anytone would work just fine. This Anytone, by the way, is available at Bridgecom Systems, which uh, you'll find a link to Bridgecom Systems down in the uh, description. That particular radio does DMR and analog, so go check that out. Portable transceiver. They're compact, they're rugged, they're reliable, and capable of operating on multiple bands and power options. What I don't recommend is something like this. This is a cheap, I don't know, $35 Balfang radio. While, yes, they may feel okay in your hand, I can clearly feel the difference. This, I can squeeze, and I feel like it might collapse my hand. This is solid. So you get what you pay for when it comes to HTs. Next, you'll need antenna and coax. A versatile antenna system, such as a uh, wire dipole, vertical antenna, uh, those are easy and easy to deploy and quickly along with durable coax. Uh, LMR400 is, is what I highly recommend, but um, RG8X will do you just fine as well. So make sure you, uh, you, you are um, smart about the coax. You don't, want the sh you don't want the jacket or shield to be broken anywhere. You want it to be good, solid coax. Power supplies and batteries. Ensure stable power uh, through deep cycle batteries, solar panels, or portable generators. Backup power sources are crucial. You may have power in your shack, like commercial shore power in your shack. That's fine, but have a backup for it. Uh, batteries, a car battery can help you. Uh, solar panel can help charge that battery. Uh, so have, have, that, have that prepared, that, that's, that's essential. If you don't, can't power your radio, it's not gonna work, period. Uh, an antenna tuner and SWR meter. You need this to quickly match your antenna system and optimize the signal. Uh, antenna tuners are pretty, pretty easy. I've got one right here. Coming right back. I just actually got this in today. Uh, this is an LDG 
uh, IT100 uh, antenna tuner. This is a fantastic device, especially if you have like an ICOM 7100. This little pin, a four pin in the back will plug straight into your uh, into your radio, whereas on the back you've got antenna or antenna. You got the ground and then the transmitter. Uh, you don't have to ha hook this up to any special power in order to get it to work. So this is a fantastic device for the ICOM 7100. Uh, a lot of your other radios, like the 7300, the 991, the FT710, the FTDX10, they all got uh, tuners built in. Uh, so they're not essential for every radio, but uh, make sure that you have a tuner available. And you want the SWR meter because if you're running an infin infinite SWR, you're not getting out, buddy. You're just not. Um, if you're running three to one SWR, you're getting out, but you're extreme reduced power. And keep in mind, that reduced power is coming back into your radio, which will eventually cause damage to your radio. Headphones and uh, microphone. I've got some headphones right here. These are just simple. I got these uh, from a buddy of mine along with the rest of the junk piled up right here. These are just little Radio Shack headphones. These are Pro 100s. Uh, they, they work just fine. I've got a little volume control knob here on the side, uh, but I use these for the 7300. Uh, they, they're fantastic. Uh, all these things you can find uh, on Amazon, and just go to my uh, Amazon link down in the description. They'll certainly help out the channel. Digital interface and laptop. Uh, with digital modes like WinLink, uh, providing email communications when the internet fails. Uh, you will need, uh, I'm not big on WinLink to be honest with you, but I believe you'll need a signal link in order to do that. Uh, if your radio already has a sound card built in, like a lot of modern radios, you don't need a signal link. You just need a USB-B cable to a USB-A or USB-C, one or the other. Um... Field notebook and writing. If you don't have a laptop, you can't log your set. You can't log. Uh, you need something to write with. Make sure you have uh, pen and paper and maybe logging sheets or something like that in your go kit, especially in your shack for sure. And finally, but most importantly, first aid and personal survival kit. You need a first aid kit along with your go box. Also, in your shack too, but hopefully you have a first aid kit in your house. Uh, emergency scenarios uh, do require basic survival gear uh, to maintain safety and effectiveness. So make sure that you're doing uh, all those things. Um, that's it on the list. I want you to start practicing today. Listen for your nets on VHF, UHF, and even HF. Participate in those nets. Participate in drills. And never Never underestimate the power of prepar uh, preparation. In these, or in, in these uncertain times and times of crisis, your ham radio skills might just save lives, including your own. That's it for this video, guys. Appreciate you watching. New slogan here on Ham Shack TV is live, learn, transmit. Welcome to the shack. We'll see you on the next video. 73s. This is AA4WX. WSCB 693.